hi children welcome to your home school today we are going to learn about cardinal and ordinal numbers what are this cardinal and ordinal numbers here so look here what is this cardinal number cardinal number is also called as a counting numbers or which shows the quantity okay suppose what we count so let's start counting the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so like this if we go on saying numbers those numbers are all called as the cardinal numbers what do you mean by the word cardinal children showing the quantity okay so here let's see here example here apples how many apples are there let's count here one two three four how many apples are there four apples are there when you count the quantity cardinal number shows the quantity of the apples so let's write what are all the cardinal numbers here children let's start writing here one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. So look here children, not only these many numbers are there, all the numbers what do you say, those are all cardinal numbers. So sum of the numbers, okay look here children, what are ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are those which shows the position of any object or of an object in the group or the set of objects. What is this children, how these numbers will be? Are there any new numbers? No, no, not at all. The way of saying the position of that number is called as the ordinal numbers. So same apples I'm going to say here. When we start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 apples we said in cardinal number. So what is the position of the last apple? Position. So how do you say here? First, second, third. Fourth position is this last apple. So here saying a position of a number is called as the ordinal number. So this we are going to write here. So look here children. Cardinal number how do you write in ordinal number. So how do you write here position. One position how do you write here. We write it as first. Okay. So, uh, this one two. Second, look here carefully children, three, how do you write your position? Third position, a fourth place, F-O-U-R-T-H, fourth place, fifth and then sixth position, sixth, seventh. And here, children, 8-E-I-G-H-T-H, -E 8th, 9th, and 10th. This is the way we represent the ordinal number. Let's see one more example here. Saying the quantity of a stars. How many stars are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Count the number and say cardinal number is? Five stars are there. So last position at fifth position, last star is placed. So what is the position of this star if I ask? Don't say three. It is third place. It is fourth place. This is fifth place. Like this, we are going to learn cardinal and ordinal numbers. Okay. See your children, cardinal numbers we know. How do we write this number? This is a number numeral. How do we write this? So look here. O N E 1. Okay. 2. T W O 2. 3. T H R E E 3. 4. F O U R 4. Okay. So, how do we write the cardinal number? This is F I V E 5. S I X 6. S E V E N 7. E I G H T 8 N I N E 9 T E N 10 So here the same thing 
look here children so when you are saying this is your cardinal number it can be written as 1234567891010 okay so it shows the quantity cardinal number shows the quantity coming to your ordinal number how do you write this ordinal number first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth so how do you rewrite this one how you can write this one you can write this as first second third okay look here carefully fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth so which position what at tenth position at eleventh position or twentieth position the saying a position we call those numbers as ordinal numbers and saying the quantity we call them as the cardinal numbers so look here children so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 how do we call in cardinal not only this many numbers we can call so how do we write the position of these numbers first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth okay this is the way we learn cardinal and ordinal numbers